Hey guys, Hoppy Hunting here. So I'm finally home for the summer from college and I got the opportunity to go hunting today. I'm going out with Walt to a site that's a little bit different than what you guys normally see. Most of the shark teeth and other fossils that you guys usually see me find on this channel, like Megs, Histalis, Hemis, whale bones, those are all from the Miocene epoch. So they're about 15 to 20 million years old. But the site that we're going to today has fossils from the Paleocene epoch, which is much older. It's closer to 60 million years old. And while I won't find any Megalodon shark teeth at this site, I do have the shot at finding the ancestor species of Megalodon, Ototus obliquus. I also might find some really weird Paleocene species I've never featured on the channel before. There are little croc teeth you can find, lots of unique stuff that you can find at this site. So I'm really excited to do something a little bit different today, and I can't wait to bring you guys with me. Let's go. All right, guys, just got to the beach. Just look at all the Turritella, all these snail shells. They're just all over this beach. They're washing out of this huge fall. There's this massive slump that is just full of them. Probably hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of these things. Just look at the size of some of these snail shells. It's Turritella mortoni, an extinct species of sea snail. Pretty awesome. But I'm here for the shark teeth. So let's find some. Got my first tooth of the day. Do you see it? There it is. Ooh. Not an Ototus, but a pretty good size. Look at those cusps. Those are killer. Not a bad tooth at all. Great start. Look how glossy it is. Beautiful. Another little tooth hiding from me right there. Not bad. Another sand tiger. Here's one of those unique things you can only really get here, right where the water's breaking. You see it? It's a little croc tooth. Paleocene crocodile. Oh, that's a nice one. Awesome little croc tooth. Here's one up in the high and dry. Oh, yeah. A little bit worn, but not bad. So I wasn't finding many teeth down on that beginning of the stretch because the storm we just had rolling yesterday put a ton of sand on the beach, but we found this area with a bunch of gravel. So I think I'm gonna start and try sifting here. Starting to get a little wave action. I got another crock tooth in the screen right there. Little baby one. Awesome. You can already see a couple really good teeth in the screen. Right there. Big sand tiger. Nice. There's another one here. Not bad. I think that might be it. Oh, one more. Got a friend. He's gonna help me look for shark teeth. Or sticks. fish, but I know this is a fish mouth plate of some kind. If you happen to know what kind, let me know in the comments, but pretty cool. Paleocene fish plate. We're heading back to that first part of the stretch. I haven't found any really big teeth yet. I'm really hoping to find some Ototus. So hopefully now that the water's gone down a little bit, I might find some. The wind is really starting to pick up, so sorry if the audio is a little choppy, but I'm almost back to that front part of the stretch. So let's go find some Ototus. All this driftwood and trash washed up recently from that storm we just had. It's really covering the whole beach, making it really hard to hunt. But I'm just looking for spaces in between where there's some exposed gravel. But it is not easy hunting today. Another decent tooth on the screen, right there. Got another sand tiger. Pretty sharp one. This could be another fish mouth plate, possibly even Philotus. I think so. Yeah, definitely fish mouth plate. I think it is Philotus. 
I do know this one. Pretty cool. All right, guys, we've been here for a few hours now. I've been doing a lot of sifting. Haven't found a whole lot yet. No Ototis still. I'm still trying to get one of those, but here's what I've got so far. Nice little assortment of teeth. A few big ones in there. This is the first tooth I found all day. Probably the best one so far. But I'm gonna keep trying. We'll probably stay here for another hour or so. I'm gonna do some more sifting, maybe walk the beach one or two more times and see what we can find. Yet another croc tooth in the screen right there. This is one of those longer, more slender ones. Um, I wonder if it's a different species. I think there are at least two different croc species at this site. Pretty awesome. Tide's starting to come in. So it's washing out all the places that we dug up. There's a pretty big sand tiger right there. Must have missed it. Beautiful. Very nice. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah. It's a good size. All right guys, so I think we're about ready to call it a day. I did pretty well. I didn't find any Ototis, unfortunately, which was the goal today, but there's always next time. I still got some really nice teeth, including those little crocodile teeth that I'm really excited to show you guys. So we're gonna hop in the boat, head back to the launch point. I'm gonna head home, and once I clean everything off, I'll show you guys everything I found today. See you then. So the first thing is that I have a lot of exciting things planned this summer in terms of fossil hunting. I actually leave tomorrow morning for South Carolina, which is somewhere that I've wanted to fossil hunt for a very, very long time, pretty much ever since I started collecting. So I'm really excited about that, and I'll definitely be able to make at least one or two videos while I'm down there. The next thing is that I will be at the Aurora Fossil Festival. It's this Memorial Day weekend that is Saturday and Sunday, May 28th and 29th. I did see some of you guys there last year, and I'm really hoping I can see some more of you guys there this year. There will be all kinds of fossil-related activities going on during the festival including digging in those fossil pits so I'm really excited to see some of you guys there and hopefully find some really good stuff. I'm also doing some traveling this summer outside the country so I may even get the opportunity to go fossil hunting overseas which would just be incredible so stay tuned for that. The next little announcement I have for you guys is about merch. I actually recently added a shirt to my online store that's available in youth sizes. So parents, if you're watching this and you have kids that are hoppy hunting fans and want to get some hoppy hunting merch, make sure you click on the link in the description and get them a shirt. And with that, let's go over the finds from today's hunt. All right, so I got a lot of shark teeth today. Most of them are sand tiger species of some sort. Sand tigers were very, very common in the Paleocene, and they can be really hard to tell apart, so bear with me on the identifications. But these are some of the best ones. This is the biggest one that I got today. A little bit worn, but not bad at all. Maybe this one's in slightly better condition. Pretty sharp. You can see the striations on the enamel there. Very nice. These were the two biggest teeth I got today. This one's pretty worn, but good size. And this was actually my first tooth of the day. I really like the cusps on this one. Look at that. Super cool, really nice color. I believe this is Hypototus verticalis, but I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if you know what species this is. Sometimes the Paleocene teeth have some really cool cusps. Look at the double cusps on that one. And on this one too. This one's got really big ones. Very cool little tooth. These are all ray plates. Got a couple fish mouth plates. I think this one is a puffer fish, but again, I'm not sure. So if you know, let me know in the comments. I do know that this one is Philodus, is the name of the genus. These are pretty cool looking. Little fish mouth plates. And then I actually got five croc teeth today. This one's broken, and this one is probably the best one. I love these little crocodile teeth that come from the Paleocene. My favorite's probably actually this one. It's smaller, but I really like the shape on it. I just love how they almost look like little dinosaur teeth. Look at that. Really cool. And here is the final display.
Usually fossil hunting after a big storm is a good idea, that's usually when the best collecting is, but unfortunately this storm worked against us and it really just threw a bunch of debris up onto the beach. So a lot was covered and it was really difficult to collect, but I still managed to have a pretty good day. I found a lot of shark teeth and I'm really happy with those little crocodile teeth. So it was a good day overall. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to join the Hoppy Hunting family. I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Hoppy hunting.